Nature's evolving way awaits beyond land's road view. Here, a lot of people don't realize that Dry Tortugas is 99% of it is underwater. And the National Park is much more than just Fort Jefferson. It's a world-class, spectacular, natural setting. The, the coral reefs out here are the best preserved in the entire Florida Keys. We have birds, the 80,000 sooty terns that migrate and nest here over on Bush Key. Um, it's a world-class um, uh, ecological setting and getting to experience that uh, just in my daily life out here is, is a real privilege. Uh, the options to visit Dry Tortugas National Park are by Marine Ferry, which takes two and a half hours one way coming out to the park, um, or by seaplane, which takes about 45 minutes uh, one way out to the park. And either way are, are very nice because you get to experience um, the Keys and an area that uh, most people don't get to. Everybody enjoys the airplane, uh, even if uh, we get people who are a little bit nervous about flying and stuff like that. I give them five or ten minutes in the airplane and they're pretty much forgetting that they're in an airplane they're just looking down and the scenery is just uh, it's pretty outstanding so uh, once they see it they, they just don't even think about uh, actually being in an airplane. Uh, we only receive about 80,000 visitors a year here to the Dry Tortugas uh, making it one of the least visited parks in the lower 48 and uh, it's a very special place and and with so few people that are getting here you also have a chance of experiencing some place that's uh, going to be a quiet uh, park-like setting that's uh, pretty special. <laughs>